How many lovers have you made today? Chapter 10, Part 2 Celestia allows herself a moment to let that sink in. Her mood lifted considerably as a smile spread it across her lips. That's why I love you. Always thinking of me before yourself. She rests a hoof on his hand. I will not tell you which path to take. That is for you to choose. Though you are correct, I care for Twilight and want nothing more than to protect and nurture her. She has lost a nun, like you were, and she needs someone to guide her. I failed her many years ago, but perhaps I was never the one to teach her in the first place. She looks up to face him eye to eye. Again, the decisions you make are your own, and I will respect them without issue. I... I can't describe it, Tia. Anon turns to look away. There are fleeting moments when I see a side of her that has long since been tainted for me. The stupid way she talks about the things she's learned, her embarrassments when she recognizes no one knows what she's talking about, it's these things that remind me of a time before she did what she did, and it makes me sick. Anon lets out a huff. I'm doing this to make sure she doesn't harm anyone else. Once she's done, I hope she goes back to Ponyville. Celestia doesn't want this to spoil the mood, so she uses a huff to bring Anon back to face her. Kiss me. That instantly changes his frustration to confusion. W what? She smiles. I said kiss me. This isn't what he expected, and if Anon is being honest, he forgot what they were talking about a moment ago. Um, all right. Slowly leaning in, he can feel his heart racing as fast as it did yesterday. Not that he's surprised. This is still new and jarring for him, but as their lips meet, he's content with this. She's gentle, soft, and the kiss is simple. Nothing like the forced tongue-fest Nightmare gave him, and he's okay with that. After a time, they pull away, the both of them with full blushes over their face as they gaze at one another. Though, with Nightmare in his thoughts, Anon drifts to another concern. What about Luna? Do you think she'll be upset? <laughs> she was the one I confided in when I began feeling this way about you. Oh. Anon shifts uncomfortably. Um, who else knows about, uh, you know, us? Cadence. She contributed some sound advice to get you into intimate situations. But as it turned out, you were the one to set up the perfect scenario for me to share my love. Wow, this is a lot for Anon to take in. So, this entire time you've been thinking about this stuff? I have. Troubled about how you felt. How your culture would determine your choices. The questions at the park, was that- Yes. Celestia reveals, embarrassed. I wasn't sure how you'd view dating a pony. I know you have your reluctance to being nude, though that's been getting better. If they're taking this time to ease worries, he might as well support her too. I'm fine with dating a pony, Anon admits. Again, it's not so much the appearance I care about, it's just who they are. He chuckles. And, uh, as I said before, I like who you are. That redness is creeping down Celestia's neck from both listening to what Anon's saying, and another question that's on her mind. Well... She clears her throat. As far as appearances go, are you, well, not interested? Oh, wow. Anon wasn't expecting this type of talk so early. I, uh, I'm fine with your looks. Uh, other than nervousness, I don't think I'd turn you away should the proper time come. Celestia hides behind her hooves. Why did I just ask that, Anon rests a hand on her withers. It's fine, but yeah, give me some time on that part. He chuckles nervously. How about we put that behind us and get ready for the day? Celestia peeks past her hooves. All right. Taking a moment to come after that awkwardness, Celestia gets out of bed with Anon by her side as they walk to the door that leads to the bathhouse. Just as they get to the door, Anon freezes up, realizing something. Um, Tia? Anon grabs her attention. Since we're 
you know, a, a thing. Do you think it's appropriate for us to bathe together? Celestia gets what he's talking about, but she's also embarrassed to admit that she's already been checking him out during the other times they've bathed together. I'm fine with it if you are. She admits. We're just bathing. Nothing more. I guess you're right. Anon agrees, once again standing beside her. Celestia leans close to his ear. Not that I don't appreciate the show. With that said, she walks past Anon, flicking her tail up to hit his face. Anon takes a second to himself, just to calm down, before taking a step inside after her. Luna enters the bathhouse at the same time as Celestia and Anon. Celestia looks over at her sister, glowing far brighter than Luna has ever witnessed before. Curious by this and the words Anon left with her, she walks over to greet them both. Morning, sister. Luna says. I take it you've slept well? Better than well, Luna. Celestia smiles, bumping Anon's hip lightly with her own. Wouldn't you say the same, Anon? Celestia makes it a show to move her head around drastically for her sister. It takes but a moment for Luna to catch the ring at the base of her horn. Her eyes swell as she looks from her sister to the red face of Anon, and then back to her sister that waggles her eyebrows at Luna. It... is that what I think it is? Luna asks. Oh, of course not! Celestia playfully uses a wing to pull Anon to her side. This was solely a gift for my birthday. Birthday? Luna stiffens up. Oh, of course, my sister's birthday was yesterday. Don't fret, dear sister. I forgot myself, but Anon here was generous enough to throw me a private party. B what do you mean by private party? A certain jealous spark ignites inside Luna, her face turning red. Oh, you know. Will you just tell her? Anon pleads, being the subject of this entire topic. Celestia looks down at Anon with a smirk. Alright, I was just having fun. She turns back to her sister. I finally told him, and we're exploring these feelings together. Luna comes for a moment before it all comes together. Uh, so... Luna looks over to Anon, who's turned away in humiliation. Is this what she was to tell me? Yeah. We're going to see how this love business works out. Anon sighs. I'm starting to regret it. Celestia nudges him. Come now, don't be so grumpy. I'm not grumpy, it's bizarre for me. Alright, Luna needs to calm herself. This isn't what she foresaw but it's setting a great mood for the day going forward. Her sister has finally taken a step forward. Now it's only a matter of time before she gets the same opportunity to admit her affection to him. This is great news. Good job, sister. Luna praises. Celestia looks to Luna with an understanding of what lies ahead. Thank you, Luna. We can talk more about this as we bathe. So please, let us get ready for the day. <sighs> finally... Anon says to himself as he gets naked and immediately gets into the bath. Celestia makes sure to take her time to watch him, unashamed by her apparent desire to see his anatomy. Looking back at her sibling, she gives her a wink before following Anon in the bath. Luna is stunned by her sister's behavior. It's nice to see her enjoying herself, but Luna will admit she's somewhat jealous she must wait before she's given the same privilege. Putting that aside, she joins them in the bath. Anon tries his best to relax as the two sisters talk about what happened. Celestia is speaking about the day they shared together, the restaurant, park, and whatnot. She talked about everything in an excited tone, as if she still can't believe this is true. But Luna listened all the same, and intensely too. Finally, the story comes to an end. Anon is thankful, as overhearing it fills him with embarrassment. So, here we are. Celestia ends. Quite the tale. Luna nods a few times. So, what are your plans for the day? Celestia turns her gaze to Anon. Well, if you're not busy, I'd like you to accompany me for morning courts. I've got nothing to do this morning, but I'd like to stop by the shop around lunch to talk to Bonbon bon and Lyra. That can be arranged. Celestia looks at her sister. What about you, Luna? As I said before, I have guards to train for the week. 
Speaking of which, I can't fill in on Daycourt during this time. My apologies. Hmm. Celestia taps a hoof to her chin. I'll get Cadence to help. Considering her relatively free schedule, I'm sure she's bored to death. That is up to you, sister. Luna gets out of the bath. For now, I must depart for training. Have a good day, you two. See you tonight. Anon comments. Tonight. Luna nods before walking off. Bye, Lulu. Celestia shouts. Luna recoils somewhat before shaking her head while leaving. <sighs> Bye, Sally. Now Anon and Celestia are left alone in the bath. He prefers Luna not leaving. She was like a buffer for the awkwardness of the situation. Now that he's alone with Celestia, he can't prevent his mind from straying. Anon? Celestia looks at him. I'm hesitant to admit that during our times bathing together, I've taken more than a few opportunities to appreciate your... unique body. Anon has no idea what this is about or where it's going. So, I believe it is completely reasonable to grant you a gander at what I have as well. Is this happening? I, I already saw Luna's. Okay, that sounds much worse than he expected it to be. You know, when she showed it to me months back when we bathed, so you don't have to if you don't want to. Again, I think it's only fair. Celestia declares, standing up from the bath and turning her hind ends to Anon. Just one quick look, okay? Anon swallows hard. I, um, okay. Celestia's heart is hammering in her barrel, but she's already made her decision here as she flings her pink tail to the side. Just as suddenly as Anon sees it, she's covered it up with her tail and returns to her seat. Should you desire to see more, you only need to ask. She asserts. Anon decides to clear his mind of that particular offer. Good to know. He takes a second to calm his nerves. So, morning court? Celestia is not faring much better than Anon is after having done that. Yes, there is not much listed for today, but tomorrow is the festival. Yeah, that's why I want to go to the shop real quick. Very well. Celestia scoots close to Anon. I love you. Will he ever get used to hearing her say that? He's not sure, but he can't find a reason to complain about it. I love you too. Can you help me wash? She asks, hopeful he may continue to indulge her. Anon sighs, unsurprised. Sure. She squeezed to herself before pulling him into another kiss. Anon is stunned for a moment as she lets him go and floats all over the soaps. This is going to be challenging to get used to, but curiously enough, his mind is free of any protest. What was that? Anyway, let's get on to our amazing donators! Top donators, Jesse Smith, Zar630, Badass, Waffle, Only One Thing, Zero Ryan, and Iron Sky. Match for Gona 9, Jack TF, Dark Side Raid, and Aros, Black Moon, Our Pastel Sky, Salsa, and Rollins, Do Hexor, but they're more Dread Army Crown Live, Red Wings, Live, Night 852, Will Chris, Mookie, Rice, Soul Shadow, Malu, JDA, Chance, Across the Big Smoke 369, Bobcat, GTR, Murder Princess, and many more amazing people. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and live life to the fullest.